What is going on, everybody? I go by the name of Kari, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. Well, looks like Memphis just got robbed again because I have an early sneaker to show you guys that doesn't come out until mid-September, but apparently some pairs have already made their way on the streets. But around here, we don't ask exactly how they were acquired. All I know is that we have them here today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Air Jordan 1 Palomino. You know what's crazy about early sneaker reviews? You guys have already seen these probably like 10 to 15 times by now, but we're still going to look at them a little bit because this sneaker is very interesting. I wanted to jump in a little bit and talk about the ongoing debate about these and the obvious sneakers that they're being compared to. But before we get into that, let's take a little deeper look at the shoe. All right, now starting with the upper of the shoe, it's a regular Air Jordan 1, nothing different about the silhouette in and of itself. What I will say is that the materials on this shoe are nice. And when I say materials, I really just mean the brown nubuck around the collar, around the heel, on the swoosh and on the toe box. Now, that's not to say that the black leather that's in the quarter panels and around the collar and on the mud guards and around the toe box aren't nice, but it's pretty much just regular Air Jordan 1 leather. I mean, to me, there's nothing really to write home about when it comes to that. The real star of the show seems to be the Palomino colored leather, not the regular black leather. We do get that nice black ball and wings logo on the lateral side. Taking the top down, look at the shoe here. More of that nice Palomino new buck leather in the toe box. Regular black nylon tongue with that gold stitched Nike Air on the tongue matching the box as well. I'll say it every single time I see a special box. We got another special box for another Jordan 1 and we still never got a special box for the Brotherhoods. That's crazy to me. Sail colored midsole on these with the Palomino colored outsole. Very nice black insole here with the gold Nike Air on the heel. No extra laces in these by the way in case you were wondering. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the Air Jordan 1 Palomino dropping this fall. I mean it's a nice looking sneaker. Let's talk a little bit about it, right? This obviously reminds you of the colors that you might see on like a bread Jordan 1. Whereas instead of the white that you would see on the Mocha that everybody is comparing these to or even the Travis Scott's This time instead of the white on the quarter panels you get the black on the quarter panels and around the collar Now the Mocha Air Jordan 1 is still a sneaker that slipped through my fingers I don't have a pair of them So if you got a pair in a size 9 let me know because I'm looking for a pair But even with that despite the fact that the Mocha's had that white collar, which I still can't forgive them for. But even with that, to me, the Mocha is still a much better looking sneaker than the Palomino. The Palomino, it's a good shoe. I think it's a solid selection, but I do not think that by the time fall rolls around, this is going to be the sneaker that everybody is rushing to get. Now, what I've been seeing, correct me if I'm wrong, is that it seems like the Air Jordan 1 hype has been cooling down a little bit. There's other models that are coming out. Even the airships are having a crazy run right now. And even though they're not worth a ton of money on the resale market, market. To me, it's still a fantastic sneaker to get your hands on. So with that, I think that when we see the fall 2023 lineup of sneakers, we'll probably see these. And I think there are going to be some people that grab them. But I'm going to tell you guys right now, the closer we get to this sneaker dropping, the less videos that you guys are going to see on these because this is one of those sneakers where as far as sneaker YouTube goes, you're only going to see them early, but you're not going to see them much from your favorite YouTubers after these drop. And there's a reason for that. Typically, that happens because there's not a lot of hype on the shoe. It's a solid pickup though, don't get me wrong. And again, I don't like when we use words like the poor man's this or the poor man's that because at $200 a pop, I don't believe no sneaker is the poor man's nothing when it comes from Jordan brand. But what I will say is that I do think that instead of throwing down the money on the Palomino, your money might be spent a little bit better going for the mochas or reaching back for a pair of a shoe that looks a little bit cleaner in my opinion. Again, I'm a black toe color blocking kind of guy. You might might be a bread one or a different color blocking type of person. So now is the time for you guys to sound up below and let me know if I'm on point or if I'm totally wrong. Let me know what you guys think about the upcoming Air Jordan 1 Palomino. Are these ones that you guys are really excited for for them to drop in the fall? Are these ones that you guys are just going to grab early and forget about them? Or are these ones that just make you realize how nice the mochas really are? Sound up down below. Let me know. Of course, right down in the comments, make sure that you Click on that subscribe button so we can welcome you into the Sneaker Fetish family to make sure you don't miss out on any more heat that comes through like these because I guarantee you I got a lot more heat on the way. As always, I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. Taking a look at these with me, unboxing them with me real quick. I go by the name of Kari. This is the Air Jordan 1 Palomino set to drop September 13th. And until next time, I'm out.